have so many questions to ask you, but you know the world has already voted that Ghana Jollof is better than Nigeria oh. Jollof, right? Oh, oh, please. Oh, please. I, I, do you want to go there? Really? I'm already there. And that's, uh, that that is the fact. First of all, I'm living in Ghana. <laughs> but I'm a Nigerian at heart, so I'm going to say it with my full chest. Nigerian rice, party Jollof. Ah. Don't even go there. You said party jollof. Oh. Eh? Our funeral jollof serve the beep as your party funeral jollof. Funeral party that say funeral is party. No 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 no. <laughs> your any your Nigerian jollof yeah, fat. Any Nigerian jollof is better than uh, Ghana rice. I'm telling you. It's with not my Ghana food. rice. Oh. Ghana jollof. We, we we don't talk. Uh, Ghana jollof. I'm saying it now. Do you want me to spell it out? Nigerian jollof is better than Ghana jollof, and I stand by it. What makes it? Why are you saying that? It's the taste now. What kind of taste? The thing is, eh, Ghana rice is different from Nigerian rice. So people eat more of um, 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 perfumed rice. Do you understand? Who? So, Ghana. In Ghana here. It's, it's in Ghana here that starts in jasmine rice. Mm -hmm. There is. We here. use our local rice. We have the local rice to prepare yeah. our yeah. jollof. Yeah. Local rice. It's special of rice juice. Then, so we, so we, 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 we use the local rice. rice. Yeah, we have, we have now. Yeah, but you don't use your local rice to prepare what? Um, jollof. Right? If you even see process, do you use it? We do you do use now. your? We do, but you most don't of do the it. Times it's imported rice that we ah, use. You see, we, we don't use imported. We use the organic one to oh, do our jollof. Now, now you know you you import your rice. That so how how will who, who, rice no? Rice. But you you import no. As a Nigerian coming to Ghana, um. How do you see some years to come Africans uh, Africans moving to different African countries? Ah, this topic eh, like it's the one it's something that pains my soul because it's supposed to be, just look at Europe. You just need one visa, Schengen visa to move freely. Like it's almost borderless. But here within West Africa itself to just being an ECOWA citizen is almost useless. It just it's just a kind of they only just discount things for you. It doesn't mean you will not pay to be inside West Africa, not to talk of people from other nationalities. Imagine somebody from South Africa needs a visa mm -hmm. to come into Ghana, to come into Nigeria. The same way Nigerians need visa to go to South Africa. Mm -hmm. We can deport our fellow African. Like, it doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. You are deporting your fellow African. It's, we're supposed to be borderless. Just, just the trip from Nigeria on by road self to Ghana is, is painful to see. The way People from other nationalities are treated as at these borders. It's not nice. Nigeria does it to um, Togo people. Eh? Togo people do it to Nigerians. Mm. The same with Ghanaians and Nigerians. Like it's vice versa. It's not nice. It's not. Okay. It's not a good look. Even within West Africa, where we have these unions that are mm. supposed to make things easy. But so so if me, people cannot move freely, talk more of goods. You can't even import mm. things freely. So that's why you keep seeing, or even even if this carrot is imported from South Africa or Algeria or wherever, it's, it's supposed to be cheap. But because of all of these restrictions and bottlenecks, things just become too. Um, it, we are the ones suffering it still. Like they said, to when two elephants fight, is the yeah. grass that will suffer. So it's yeah. still the ordinary citizens that end up suffering. Imagine I'm in Ghana now. Um, if I don't have a residence permit after three months, my stay here, the visa they've given me expires, so I have to go back and come back again. If not, when I'm going, I'll have to pay over stay. Like all of these little, little things that are not supposed to be there. Like inside of West Africa alone, I'm not talking about Africa as a Africa continent. So, like, the, the it's just too much. Too much. Yeah, we, the ECOWAS is not working. It doesn't, ECOWAS is rubbish. ECOWAS is just for mouth. Like, it, have you seen the list of residence permits? It's just discounted for you as an ECOWAS city, like somebody that comes from an ECOWAS country. You pay residence permit to live in Ghana. It's just only going to be cheaper for you. Somebody in South Africa will pay more. Somebody from the US will pay more than somebody from South Africa. The same way. So it, all of this does not make sense. Equals is just like, it's, I don't, I talk about this, my chest is not paying me because it's a very painful thing to know and to experience that as a Nigerian, you can be deported from Ghana. As a Ghanaian, you can be deported from Nigeria. All of those things are not supposed to be so. We are all the same. Like, we are literally the same. If you go abroad, they'll see you as a black person, the same as me. We are literally the same. So, fellow Africans, we keep doing these things to ourselves. It's for our leaders. Mm. Because the people that they are playing, they are, they, are, they, are, they are dancing to, those people, they don't care about us. So, we're supposed to care enough for ourselves to make things better for us. All of these restrictions were imposed because 
of how we were ruled uh, colonially and we are still keeping to those restrictions till now even when it's not benefiting us imagine i want to send money to nigeria i have to now transform from cds to this one meanwhile those people are using only one currency oh. like things are all of these things they cause a lot of restrictions that like you can't do business easily you can't move your goods people cannot move freely so it doesn't make sense it do, at the end of the day it doesn't make sense we are the ones being impoverished by these things mm. we are losing out we are losing out. imagine if we can do business within ourselves in africa the, the, the amount of money we'll be able to generate so if i if i have a business now like a clothing business it's cheaper and easier for me to ship to the uk than to ship from nigeria to the even ghana here okay let me even bust your brain oh we're coming the, the cost of flight to fly from Nigeria to Ghana is almost the same as to fly from Germany to Ghana. Meanwhile, yes, I met a German lady. She asked us how much we booked our flight. It was exactly the same. Meanwhile, that, her own flight was like 14 hours. From Ghana to Nigeria is 45 minutes, not even up to one hour. And mm. it's the same, yes. Because if you look at all the, they, they levy them a lot. All these levies, ECOWAS levies there. This one levy, that one levy. It meant to add AU levy. So and by so the time, yes, the yeah, there are a lot of levies. The one that is your flight money is really small. What are some of the things that in Ghana you've tried so far, like our local dishes? Um, do, you know this granite soup? Granite oh soup. I don't know. Do you have many granite soups? I've tried, there's a granite soup I was giving with chicken. So I liked it. <laughs> I liked the cocoa. Do you know why I like the cocoa? Yeah. Okay, so the foods I tend to like most, because personally I'm not, um, I'm not very adventurous with foods. Do you understand? I, I don't like eating what I don't know. If I go to a restaurant, I will most likely order rice because I know rice. I know what to expect from rice, you get? Mm -hmm. So, well, I've seen the foods I tend to like are the ones that are like kind of variations of Nigerian dishes. Mm -hmm. Like the cocoa is like a watered down version of pap. Okay. But except that pap is very smooth. Mm -hmm. But cocoa has um, bits and pieces, so it has more fiber in it. Uh -huh. I liked it. And then uh, banku. The banku, it, it was like apple. Except that apple is made from cassava, but banku is made from um, maize, right? Mm. Fermented maize flour, right? Mm. Uh -huh. So yeah, those are the kind of ones that I've actually really tried. Uh, the wache is like rice and beans with spaghetti and a side of gari. Do you believe in um, pan-Africanism? Like, because talking about all these kind of things, I want to know if you really believe in pan-Africanism and how is it effective to Africans? My idea of Pan-Africanism is like um, an Africa without borders, where we deal with each other as individuals first, before which country are you from, which tribe are you from, and all of that, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Which is what you were even talking about today. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it will benefit us in the long term, because at the end of the day, we are all blacks. We are all from this same soil, like this African, uh, this is our home. So if we, if we treat it right, if we if we treat each other as brothers and sisters and like literally treat ourselves the way we are supposed to be treated, mm -hmm. eh? we are the ones that will still benefit from it. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's, it's a given that we are different tribes, we have different backgrounds, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, if we remove all of this artificial, because these borders are artificial, like somebody came and colonized you and told you oh, from here to here you cannot pass. You look, we all have, we have um, bits and pieces of ourselves in different places. So we now allow these artificial borders to now rule and guide the way we treat each other. And I feel at the end of the day, we are still the ones that are losing. We are the biggest losers in this. So yeah, if Pan-Africanism is the thing that will solve our problem, why not? So nice to be nice on Epic Awards. So I am a content creator. I create content on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. The same name, Oji Chika. I'm also on Twitter, but like, let's leave it at that. <laughs> we want to see you on on, uh, on this channel again. Is it possible? Um, yeah, yeah. If we're going to bant, so I'll finish you. But I like, um, we have to do round two. Yeah, <laughs> this one was even knocker, so I want to give you small yeah. time to recover. <laughs> 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 yeah. hey, all right, yeah. so you get you back on this channel again. Um, paddle with me the way the video is looking, but the next one is going to be better than this. But because one or two things wasn't right in the in the settings and everything, um, but I really appreciate you for watching to this end. Um, you know, I go by the name Epic Awards. Leave your comments in the comment section, like and share to this video. Go follow her and uh, show us some love that's what we got to do african unite see you in the next video peace out